guys, it is Wednesday and what a day have I been having. Holy shit. Well, I got up this morning, I kind of woke up around 7ish, which is really early for me because I usually don't get up around, oh, I don't know, 9.30, 10 o'clock I'd say, because I really, I lately haven't been going to bed till almost at least 3.30 in the morning. Why that is, I don't know. But, yeah, so, <laughs> I, I don't know. But anyway, so I woke up early this morning. Uh, I just kind of went on the iPad, played a little vidi. I don't know what you call it, iPad game, I, I game, I guess, I don't know. Um, so then, I don't know how everything came about. Then my dad woke up, and then he's like, oh, we're going to go down to to the bar this morning, and... Fix fix your truck. I go, I go. What's wrong with my truck? He's like, oh well, there's a brake brake leak. I go, well, did you make sure you put the brake fluid in the truck again? Cause there was the last truck. He uh, he forgot to add brake fluid to the uh, to the little son of a bitch there, and uh, the brakes needed to be blood because there was air in the lines and different things like that. So we just thought it was that this morning. No, 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 no. Let me uh, let me run the house and I'll show you what. Uh, All right. Well, I got the uh, parts. I'll show you that in a second. So we get down there this morning. I look at it. Uh, turned out it didn't need um, need uh, not power steering fluid. Freaking brake brake fluid. Um, and I'm looking at. It, I'm looking at it and there's a big puddle on the ground. I'm looking at it. And I'm like, oh fuck. So I look at it a little more and I realize, oh. Well, these sons of bitches is leaking, so I noticed right away it was this one. So, um, so I don't know what I did first. Oh, I think we went to uh, VAP Auto Parts first, and uh, to grab the parts, figure out what we needed. So we go down there. We go down there. We pick up the. Uh, well, we went to go. We were gonna go pick it up, and they're like, "Oh no, you need the size and what size bolts and different things like that." So we're like, "All right, no big deal." And they asked, we asked them, "How much is it gonna cost?" They go, "Oh, probably around three dollars and fifty cents or something." So like, "Oh, okay, no big deal." So we pull this one off, and then I I realized, you know what, this one over here is looking a little bit crusty. Um, I didn't really like the way how that corner was looking and this bottom corner, and uh, the tip of it was pretty. It's pretty scary. This is the, the tip. I wasn't wasn't too too thrilled about that. So I did made the big executive decision, three dollars and fifty cents. You know, we'll just pop that one off, replace it. So then we get them both off. Uh, I had to go to my uncle's work probably about three times just to pick up three different wrenches because well I wasn't anywhere near here and his work was right down the street. So I stole a bunch of snap-on tools and different things, um, different things like that. So. We pull them off and we get down to, we go back to VAP Auto Parts so that way they can take the measurements and different things like that. And they're like, oh, well these are the braided ones. I go, yeah. I go, what, what's, what's the big deal? You said $3.50, right? They go, oh no, we don't have that here. So we're like, oh, okay, so where do we go? They go, oh, you have to go down to the dealer. So went down to uh, Watertown Ford and uh, went down there and, you know, we got a nice little place there. and. Uh, we go to the register and we go, we need this and this. And he goes, okay, looks up on his computer. He's looking at it, looks at me, he says, uh, that'll be $108.97 for one. I'm like, um, what? <laughs> so, I, I couldn't fucking believe it. So this, uh, no, this is the one that cost $108.79 and this one here cost $112.74 or something like that. I was like, we went from $3.50 to $100 plus. And then I, I couldn't believe it right there. So my dad was telling me to take off this other line. It looked a little crispy. And um, I mean, it wasn't too, too bad. Like, it didn't look anything like these. It was a whole lot better, but. You know, I figured, you know, it's just one of these short little doodads, and he's like, why don't you pull that one off, we'll replace that one too, because it's only going to be $3.50, that's when we knew it. Well, I looked at it, I go, no, nah, we'll just leave it, I, I was looking at it, you know, it would just be easier just to leave it on there. 
Well, man, I'm glad I didn't fucking pull that piece off. Because that piece is $140. Holy shit, they like fucking you in the asshole repeatedly. Wow. Couldn't fucking believe it. Like, you would never think that this little piece of metal with a little piece of stainless and a little antler at the end there, a few bends in it, is that much. Like, really? Holy. I was getting ready to take out the welder and just weld these fucking things back together. Holy shit. But, uh, yeah. It's a lesson learned there. Uh, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Just plain and simple, but, um... I did get a little video of it. I got a video of it by my cell phone, which is in my pocket. Um, I did figure out a trick. I was looking at it. It turns out if you take out the uh, the uh, if you take out the inner splash shield of the wheel, like let's say here's your your front tire, and you get your dax to it, just take off your front little uh, splash shield there, your wheel wheel splash shield, and just pull that off, and your pump will be like right there. So it's, that would just made it so much easier. So that was a little trick for you. I didn't realize that until he was on the second one and I couldn't get this last little fucker out of there. So I was like, ah, oh, Jesus, uh, let's just fucking rip the whole piece of shit out of there and just fucking just get it out of there. So, uh, yes, yeah, so <laughs> there was my day. Um, just, uh, just couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Um, but they did give me a really good price on tires. Um, really aggressive looking tread, too. Um, they are Goodyear, I don't remember the name of them, um, but they're really not, I mean, they're not really aggressive, but they're aggressive looking, and all four tires, balanced, mounted, the works, $330, that's a fucking good deal. Yeah, uh, I couldn't believe that, uh, so I think that might be in the very near future. Um, wasn't planning on buying new tires for it, but they got a good deal on them, and that deal only lasts until the end of the month, I think, if I if I read the read the thing right. So, um, so that's a pretty fucking good deal. Three hundred and thirty something dollars for all four tires mounted, balanced, the works, and two year road hazard warranty, something like that. I mean, that's a that's a no brainer right there. Just that's a good deal. And then they're not like friggin' like that. They're more like friggin' aggressive looking. So that's that was a big plus. You know that it's like almost half of what the people that around here quoted us. I think I might have the quote still. Nope, no longer in there. Uh, they all want like six hundred and something dollars, five hundred and something dollars. So yeah, but I might um I might do that within the next month here. And uh, I gotta give the truck an oil change. I'm just gonna send it to him. I ain't gonna bother fucking around with it underneath. It's too cold to be fucking around underneath there. I was out there today. It's only 21 degrees out today, and my fucking fingers were freezing by the time I was done doing the brake lines. Um, which is still then they're still not done. I gotta go back there tomorrow and put the fucking brake lines back together. So yeah, I hope that's if the parts come in tomorrow. They said, oh yeah, it should be in the morning. So I don't know. We'll have to. Where the hell did that come from? Oh yeah, that. Oops. Um, so tomorrow I gotta go back there, I gotta finish putting the fucking brake lines on in 20 below weather. Well, not 20 below, but it's 21 degrees out right now, and well, my fingertips are getting just a little bit cold by holding this camera. Just saying. Um, but yeah, lesson learned right there. If it, don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just, just don't even touch it, especially brake lines. Don't, don't even look at it. Yeah, you, know, you know. But um, fucking each, each one of these bolts is a different size too. Like this is a, this is a seven sixteenths. Uh, this is a half inch. This is a, ooh, this is I think a five eighths. Yeah, five eighths for that one. And there's another one that's still on the truck, and that's like a. Friggin' 12 mil or something like that, so it just cocked over big time. Cocked the whole program over today. I was supposed to go up to the power equipment place, pick up a di couple of different things. No, 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 we can't do it now, not until the truck's fucking fixed. So now it doesn't look like I'll be going up there until Friday, I'd say. Because today's Wednesday, tomorrow I'm gonna go 
if I can get it done really fast tomorrow, I will go up, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it done that fast. <laughs> Maybe if I don't put on the inner splash shield, but whatever. We'll see. It's about 315 right now, different things like that. Um, but it was just... It was just a fucking mess, so I'm going to put these little pieces back in my little Ziploc, well, not a Ziploc, but just a Bass Pro Shop bag here, and different things like that. I'm going to cut that piece off, and cut that piece off, and I'll be saving that for my scrap metal collection. Stainless steel, bitches. But, uh, yeah. Just unbelievable, just caulking over the programs, and holy... Yeah, you learn something new every day. But um, I did find out. I was looking at the truck. I was thinking about replacing the shocks and the and the truck come uh, springtime. Well, it turns out they're gonna be pretty simple to replace. A lot easier than the last truck I had on um, my '93 F-150. This is a 2000 F-150, and the shocks are really easy to get access to. Um, fucking, there's like one bolt like right here, one bolt right here. Done. I was like, wow. That's not too bad. So I might uh, might throw some new ones on. Probably cost about 50 bucks in parts, which is, it wouldn't be too bad. Um, definitely make it a lot smoother ride with the new tires and different things on there. So, yeah. But, whatever. What can you do? Fucking just unbelievable. <laughs> Still can't believe it. And then I was going to try and... Oh, you guys don't even want to know how many times I, I was going to get the regular steel lines and just try and redneck it, throw a couple adapters on. No, 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 it won't work. I was going to, it just did not work. I was going to try and heat up the, the pipes like a bandit. It just wasn't working. So I said, fuck it. Just buy the fucking pieces, you know. Not that I had the money to fucking buy $109 each freaking tubes. So I think the total is going to come to like... Two hundred and thirty-nine dollars or two hundred and twenty-nine dollars, something like that. I forget what the receipt was, but uh, yeah, just unfucking believable. <laughs> just my luck. But yeah, so that's my day. How was yours? Yeah. Uh, what else? So yeah, uh, I guess I got this. Is pretty much all I got for you. So I'm gonna roll the video I made of the truck, and uh, we'll talk to you guys out tomorrow. Oh. Mm, oh. oh, yeah, choo -choo. Yeah. What is Pepper Cat Keith doing today? Holy. Well, I don't have my camera on me. I'm kind of using my cell phone right now. But uh, I'm doing my brake lines. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess my dad last night went to go use my truck, and well, I guess the brake lines uh, didn't quite last too long. So, one off. One was a, uh, one was pretty bad, one was, and uh, I decided to replace both of them. I got this one little antler off right here, but I forgot my 14 mil wrench. So yeah, so we gotta get access to that in a bit. But uh, I was gonna pick up some power equipment today, 